Vlastube. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday the 25th of April 2021 and this is Vlastube number 63. This week has been pretty crazy for stitching, especially with this weekend being the 24 hours of cross stitch. I'm still like five hours short and it is 20 past four on Sunday so <laughs> they will be done before I go to bed tonight so that'll probably be like an 11 o'clock bedtime tonight. Anyway, um, I've got all my cross stitching to share with you which is quite a bit because I have been quite busy this week on it. I'm close to the end of April, which means I need to finish my full coverage fanatics monthly bookshelf challenges, especially on Riley's. I need to finish his. So I'll just crack on and take you through the stitching I've done so far this week. Um, I will get Riley's out first, just because that's on the top of my list. So yeah, full coverage fanatics, monthly bookshelf challenge uh, for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I needed 1760 on this one which is Avengers Endgame from Tilton Crafts and this is for my youngest son Riley he loves Avengers I've only done 917 so I've got to crank that up this week and try and finish the you know the next however many um, it also did for, I'm going to make sure I've got it the right way, um, Enchanted Stitching, stitch on something that could be used to remove um, Lady's Muzzle because the film this month is Lady and the Tramp and I chose the Avengers just because one of them is holding a blade. Now, I had to check where I was working. <laughs> I did this. The 939 thir and whatever colour this is. It's a very light lilac. No. Light purple. This is on 18 count. This is the only one of my projects on 18 count. And I won't be doing another one. <laughs> Although I like 18 count. I think my sweet spot now is 25. So when this one's done it will be my last one on 18 count. There's the bottom. And... That's the full thing. This is stitched two over one, full cross. It is a full coverage piece. So yeah, I've still got 800 hard stitches perhaps to do near, near 800 anyway on that one. I can do that. It's easy stitching on that because it's two over one. So it's like starting off isn't the pinwheel stitch. I can just use the loop method and I like that. So the next one, oh my gosh. You'll see why I say, oh my gosh, in a minute, it's so big and <laughs> awkward to get out. It is my super size Once Upon a Fairy Tale, not Max Colour. Make sure I have to get that in there. It's by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I am actually on the last page right here. So, work has been great this week on this one. This is on, excuse me, this is on 25 count Easy Grid. And I've actually done a lot this week. I don't, I've been trying to remember all morning because this has been my today, the sun's glowing. This has been my today project um, for the next five hours of um, 24 hours of cross stitch. But I think I've done all of that, all of that. And down, the grey has been what I've done today, what I've been working on. And I'm going to rewind my counter because I've just realised I've left it on. This is one over one, full cross, and I love the coverage. It's amazing. So, yeah, I've got to keep going on that. This has served one, two, three, <laughs> four prompts. I'm working on the fourth one currently as we speak while I'm on my countdown for the 24 hours of cross stitch, which, if you're new, is a Facebook group and you have to fit 24 hours of cross stitch in from Friday to Sunday. If you are one of these that like to stay up all night and do 24 hours in one go, your team no sleep. Or you can do 24 hours between Friday and Sunday, which is me and your team sleep. So I, I did eight hours, I think, on Friday. Eight hours yesterday, just short of. And I'm going to finish my eight hours today. It's been slow. Um, anyway, 
enchanted stitching stitch on something related to music and there is I don't know if you'll see it there's a little man right here on the harp so that was my connection to music then for magical stitches stitch on your whip that has the messiest back <laughs> that has to be my once upon a fairy tale because I kind of go cross country across four pages or so and you get 200 bonus stitches for taking a picture of the back which I did <laughs> it is up there on um, on my post in uh, magical stitches <sighs> yeah and then the second magic magical stitches it was penalty so when you do penalty you have to stitch on your oldest whip so that was that one and then stitch on a whip that has stars they're all up here so <laughs> it served for that prompt as well so I had to keep stopping every so many stitches taking a photo because I don't I don't think you can double dip in the weekly challenges. So when I've completed what I think is 250, I hit the uh, tick and it tells me I've done 500 and something, which it has done today. So I don't use the same section for the same, for the different challenges. I will actually do each set separately. I find I get a lot more stitching done that way as well. Anyway, the next one I worked on this week. This one I haven't touched in a while. is this one another heaven and earth design by hannah disney and it's called felicia she's so pretty um the prompt was for enchanted stitching stitch on a project that you keep coming back to but haven't focused long enough to finish she definitely fits that category i did 381 stitches but i only needed 250 and i did it down at the bottom on her tail, her fish scale thing. So it's right here. This is 25 count, one over one full cross. I actually like the coverage you get, 25 count. It's not too bad, one over one. And then this is the full piece so far. And I could have just kept going that night, honestly, because I did this on... Friday when I started the 24 hours of cross stitch I could have just kept going I really really could so I'm looking forward to getting her out again at some point in the next week or so next told you I've touched a few this week five no six so the next one I worked on this was for an enchanted stitching prompt anyway I need to get more bobbins <laughs> anyway it's this one get out of the light it is randall spangler mini virus detected charted by heaven and earth designs and he is so cute so so cute and i'm still up here working on the bookshelf and the books i don't think i'd started the books last time you saw it i was still carrying on with um the bookshelf now the prompt for this one was stitch on a project you are mad at but that you love. Well, last week I made, I got really confused with my stitches and where I actually was and I've got stitches marked off that I hadn't done. So that definitely fitted that prompt. And I've, as you can see, I started on these books. I apologise for the sun. If I shut the blinds, it goes too dark. If I leave them open, it's too bright. Anyway, I've started on these books right here. And I've been filling in a bit more of the shelves. I've done 477 this week. That's the whole thing. This is also 25 count, one over one full cross. Told you it was my sweet spot. <laughs> so that's that one. We'll go to Animal Kingdom now, because this wasn't for a prompt. What was it? It might have been. It might have been for a bookshelf challenge. Oh, well. This... Oh, hey. This is... No, where's me? 24 hours of cross stitch has thrown me. I'm all confused. Anyway. <laughs> 
it is this one mini the amazing animal kingdom let's go that way instead that's better more light um this is an amy stewart design as well charted by heaven and earth designs <laughs> this one is a yearly one as well for fog coverage fanatics i believe stitch round iceland and you've got to your stitches all count well i haven't added on this week's i don't think but i have actually completed 20. yep 20 attractions so i've just got to finish that page which takes you up to 45 and then that page so to complete it for the end of the year to december 31st i need to do 215 a day I lost a few days where I didn't do anything, so I had to recalculate and my stitch count went up every day. But this week has been amazing. Um, I've got that. Oh, well. Um, I've actually done, wait for it, 2,190 stitches this week. Just this week. So, you can just about see the bottom. So, I'll just hold it up. It's starting to fill in a bit more now the last few weeks it doesn't look like i've touched it really really hasn't this again is 25k one over one for crafts but i think you can actually see a difference now of this tree's got filled in so so much more my thread's hanging and he has got filled in a bit more i actually believe this is a giraffe let's kind of take a closer look I've been doing a lot of 3371. What I've actually found I enjoy is going on Pattern Keeper, and you know, you can scroll down the thread numbers at the side. I find the highest amount, and I'm working my way down on that way. So then it'll be the next, the second highest amount of stitches, and I pick that colour. So this is definitely going to be finished by December 31st. Not a problem. This week's been amazing on it. So that was that one. You only have one more. And I have done no crochet this week. I don't know, I just... My stitching bug was there, so... I really need to get my next panel started. And this one's so big, I have to keep it in a... <laughs> my um, loom... Uh, my round looms used to sit in there. Right, this one, I only needed 250 stitches, okay, for magical stitches. Stitch on something that has a pig in the design. Where's my thingy? And this one, I'm not sure if you can see. They've got piglet between them, swinging piglet. I never showed you what it was anyway, but it's World of Disney from Etsy, from Xana Cross Stitch. All links, as always, will be in the description, whether I've showed the project or not. All my whips are there, so you can go and take a look for yourself. Let's get this the right way. I told you how. I just stabbed myself, it's okay. 1,654 stitches this week, and it was all carrying on this green border from here all the way across, and again, I just wanted to keep going. That's how I got ended up with 1,600 stitches in it. It was just, I was on a roll. And I was loving it. I love that green border. This again is 25k, one over one, four cross. And it's amazing. And you can kind of tell, I don't know if I'll be able to show you the whole thing because it's so wide. Ow. <laughs> That's my corner, and this was the corner Ellie started. Right there, so you can see how wide it's going to be, and it's wider than it is. Yeah, it's wider than it is long, so you can kind of, kind of get an idea how big this is going to be. I only have two um, baps on the go. I don't think I could cope with the third bap, because they're just so big. Where's my need? I folded it wrong anyway, so we'll sort that out in a minute. Um, so, 
yeah, the plans for next week is to finish my bookshelf challenges. I think I've done two. I don't got me um my board. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I completed and the Amazing Animal Kingdom was one of the bookshelf challenges, but I didn't write it on the paperwork because I've already done it. So it's just to finish the Avengers. And then it'll be is it the first of May next Saturday? It's somewhere in there. So yeah. I've only got to finish that and then it'll just be I don't know if I'll do the weekly challenges this week. Although I completed all of last week's. Well no, I've got like 200 stitches left to do on one. That's it then. But I did both magical stitches and enchanted stitching, which is eight prompts. So it was quite it wasn't a struggle. I did it. But I'm not sure I want to do it again this week, so we shall see. So I don't even know what I'm going what I'm going to do if anything for mania because I don't really have anything that's small like oh my projects are full coverage that's that's what i like but i think i would like to do some smalls it's a bit like diamond painting you do a big one and you do little snack ones in between don't you so i want to get some small ones so if i plan that for next year 2022 get a few patterns and stuff in and get them all kitted up i can do something for mania next year but as of well, regarding May this year, that kind of brings me into hall. I am going to start in May. This, my Mirabilia. This is Athena, goddess of wisdom. She's gorgeous. And I've spent the last few weeks hitting her up. I already have the embellishment pack. I already have my fabric. Now comes the whole part. I haven't got all of these yet. I've got some more on their way. But I have my some of my DMC threads that arrived this week. I have another batch due to arrive Monday or Tuesday. But then the best part. Each Mirabilia design has... Specialty threads, if you want to call them that. And I've been, they're not cheap, as I found out. So I have brought my Krynik Metallic 28, which is the gold metallic thread. This is so awkward, isn't it? You can see. I know that's going to be a nightmare to work with. Because I've only ever worked with that once before. And that was on my Christmas calendar thingy. Yeah, it was the reins from Santa's hands to the reindeer. Anyway, so I know it'll be a nightmare to work with. It also required some Karen collection um, threads. This one is number 204 called Umbria. These are silks. I'm going to try that blinking sun one second there block the sun out see it's gone dark now <laughs> anyway this is umbria these are silks water lilies by karen collection so that's one the second one is african violet that one's gorgeous and they are so so soft I spent ages stroking them. If that makes me sad, that makes me sad. <laughs> but this one is Cardinal. Gorgeous, gorgeous red. I think it's showing up a bit brighter than it is. But then there is this one, Oasis. These all cost me £5.25 each. So you can see why I didn't buy them all at once, even though you're not seeing them separate separately i waited for them all to come in 
This is guacamole. And the slight variation is lovely and it shows up well, to be honest. Then the last one is okay, number 242 celery. That looks rather cream, but in real, there is like a very, 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 and I mean very, pale green. It's like a very, very pale mint just swirled in there. It's not cream, I swear it isn't. <laughs> just the way it looks on camera. So yeah, those are my threads. I have some more DMC on their way from Lovecrafts. And then all I need is, it's a rainbow gallery thread, Whisper WA8. I've got to get some of that. And then May I'll be ready to go and I'll be starting it in May. So there are all my lovely colours. £30 worth there. Shocking. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, would you? But they are amazing and they're so, so soft. I can't wait to start that one. But I am going to wait till May, till my other threads come in. Temptations there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to behave myself and wait for it all to be in. I'll put that away in a minute. Anyway. That's it stitching wise for me this week. My bad guys, I completely forgot to do the giveaway. Tell you what, that's what these 24 hours of cross stitch weekends do to you. Okay, <laughs> they drive you nuts and forget things. So um, what I didn't say last week is you should be a subscriber. But that's on me. So next time I've put everyone's name into a wheel. There was 14 people who filled in my... Google form so we are just going to give this a spin and see where it goes Jodie Freeston I have your email address congratulations Jodie all I need you to do is pick a pattern from heaven and earth designs let me know which one you want and I will rack it to you by your email address thanks for entering everyone take care bye